always happening guys it's your boy tc back with another video so it's been a while since i've put out a video uh, i've had some few complications uh, with my dental issues but i think i should be back up and running now um of course since then since the last time we have actually put out a video arsenal has actually played in the premier league against newcastle and we've certainly gone ahead and won that game. The scorers on the day were Granit Xhaka as well as Mirza Ozil. So it was a brilliant, brilliant result for us. But the purpose of making this video today is to announce the fact that Ivan Gazidis has finally left Arsenal. So this was a huge speculation uh, throughout the whole summer, really. We've made a video recently, really, in the last couple of weeks or so. We've put out a video confirming that he will certainly be leaving the club. But it's now been announced by the club as well as by Ivan Gazidis. And the club that he will be joining will be AC Milan as anticipated. So Ivan Gazidis joined Arsenal back in 2008, November 2008 to be precise. And he's finally leaving after 10 years of serving the club. Some may say that he did do a good job. Some may say that he didn't. But of course, his key moment within the club, really, uh, his highlight within the club for me personally and for many people would be overseeing the change from Arsene Wenger to Unai Emery, which would have been a difficult process in its own. He's also overseen huge transfers coming in, the likes of Lacazette and Aubameyang, etc. So he did do a semi, a semi decent job, I should say. Uh, but as a chief executive, we would have wanted slightly a bit more from him. It's not bitter sour grapes. Uh, I am saying this, uh, the reason I'm saying this, but we could have had a bit more out of him in terms of uh, player recruitment as well as staff recruitment, etc. So, of course, uh, there will be changes uh, happening within the club itself. We are now hearing that Rahul Sinley will now be the head of football. What that means, I'm not too sure, but he was only brought in recently from Barcelona uh, as the director of football uh, to actually identify players that we can bring in, etc. So, he's been promoted. This has actually been deemed as an internal promotion within the club, and uh, he's certainly put out a statement, and the statement reads, Though I've only joined Arsenal in the previous months, I felt embraced by this great club and I felt part of this family from the first day. I'll do everything possible to maintain our strong values, which will be as fundamental to our future as they've been in the past. I sincerely thank Arsenal's board for their trust in us and I thank Ivan for bringing me into this great club. So obviously he's acknowledging Ivan Gazidis' input in actually getting him into the club and consistently supporting me every day in every way. It's with overwhelming pride and utmost excitement that I face this new opportunity. So of course, there's been another internal promotion and this will be in the form of Vinay. He's now been made managing director at the club. So a number of shifts happening. Of course, Ivan Gazid is moving on. It removes the uncertainty that we've been facing in the past few months. And we're glad that he's moved on. Hopefully he can go ahead and do a great job over there at AC Milan. There were talks of Josh Cronkay coming in and being the new CEO at the club. That's yet to be seen, that's yet to develop, but we'll certainly keep you updated as that goes on. But as usual guys, please do let me know what you think in the comments below. If you're watching this video and you're not subscribed to the channel, please do make sure that you do hit that subscribe button. So once again guys, it's your boy TC from I'm Gonna Talk TV and I'm out.